What is up everybody, Monster Gym Fanatic here back again with another top five video. We have not done one of these in a while for sure. Tonight we are going to be counting down the top five freak accidents that have happened in monster truck shows. I'm sure it gets annoying, but if you go to Monster Gym, I'm sure you realize they're constantly shutting the trucks down. And like I said, I, I know it gets kind of annoying after a while, but at the end of the day, it is just keeping everyone safe because there are a lot of low budget monster truck shows. There were a couple Monster Jam clips in here as well from the earlier uh, 2010 era um, that are in this top five as well you will see that as well so even the safest of people you know it could just happen that's why i'm calling it freak accidents because it's just a freak accident so we're going to be counting down top five and i'm going to start off with this first one here and number five we're starting this list off with this independent monster truck show i believe it was held in mexico i don't know what the name of the truck was honestly it was some weird ripoff version of avenger it looks like but as he's going over this jump um he lands so hard the tire comes off i guess he just wasn't using really good equipment or again just a freak accident but that tire just snapped off so easily you know monster jam with their equipment like especially with the anderson's trucks i've noticed their their equipment holds up so good but then there are other trucks like that that are just really like built more way more cheap i feel like and stuff like this happens so take a look Now, coming in at number four, something I'm sure none of you guys really knew that Crustacean ever did. You guys know the Crustacean monster truck back in, I believe, 2011 or 2012 in an arena show. It was Monster Jam. Crustacean accidentally ran over the announcer. Now, I have no clue, like, what the context was, why Crustacean just steadily kept going forward. You'll see this clip in a second. He just kept going forward when the announcer was kind of standing right in front of Crustacean, announcing his presence, and Crustacean was just moving forward. I don't know if his throttle locked up. You'll, you'll notice a pattern. Some of these trucks and freak accidents the throttle just locked up and that's when the tragedy happened so with this i have no clue maybe he just didn't even see the announcer maybe he was in crustacean's blind spot but take a look Now, I did put that at number four because the announcer ended up making a full recovery and he is completely fine now, thank God. So, number three, we are going to be taking a look at this old, very, very old from the 90s uh, monster truck race. I forget where it was held, that it was in the small arena, and I believe there was one man killed. And a little context behind how this even happened when he landed off of the uh, the racing ramp, but when he landed, uh, his tire blew and it shot him to the left right into the crowd. Uh, just a freak action, you know? So, let's take a look. All right, so now for this number two one, this one is pretty pretty bad, Um, but I didn't put this at number one. I honestly don't know if anyone got uh, killed, Um, but I, it's obvious that a couple people were definitely injured because this truck went right into the crowd. Now, this one, I believe, was a throttle lock. Um, the truck just kept going forward and forward. You would assume he could just easily break. When you see this video, it's like, why didn't you break? that's why i believe that his throttle just got locked and, and just jammed up and that happened and I'm, I'm i'm sure the driver felt really bad after this so let's take a look And now for number one, more of you guys may be familiar with this video. It is Monster High's um, freestyle performance in Tacoma 2009. Now this is the definition of a freak accident. A little context, um, he was going around the track um, laying down a decent freestyle run he came around this turn and his axles just like snapped and it went and hit this little kid in the crowd unfortunately killed him now that wasn't showed in the video but at the end of this clip you will hear kind of like a snap and then, then like a echo of like being it's being bounced off something in the crowd which i do think it was the kid's head but honestly you can be the judge of that it was kind of sad just thinking about like what that sound really came from but just take a look if you haven't taken a look already um nothing bad is really shown all you see is his axle snapping and most of it lands on the dirt but you can hear a little bit of uh, an echo coming off of the truck and then hitting the, something in the crowd And 
those are the top five uh freak accents and one thing just notice and remember that all of those clips were at least 10 years old and some that that third one was like what 20 30 years old so uh, monster truck shows have gotten really safer all around not just monster jam you know all the most monster truck shows um have gotten a lot more safer um that's why monster jam is really strict with you know when they break and stuff like that and it's unfortunate that they don't let the trucks go <laughs> when they lose a back tire or stuff like they they did in the 2000s i guess it's for reasons like this just to keep everyone safe um so there you go guys thank you guys so much for watching if you are new to the channel please subscribe i would really much appreciate it and stay tuned for more videos tell me if you want more top fives and i'll see you guys next time peace out